Hey guys, very frustrated. Hi. Yes, very, very angry. Very angry. Yes. Um, just shot this video, this exact same video, 20 minutes long. No audio. Forgot to turn my mic on. By the way, new mic. Yeah, right here, right in my mouth. How sweet is that? Cool. Yeah, forgot to turn my mic on. So we're gonna try to answer the rest of the question. I'm sorry, if I answered your question and, and uh, there was no audio, I can show you proof that there was no audio. But I, I, I messed up. I turned the mic off um, when I had a brief break when someone walked into the room. It's on now, so let's. My brother, I'm with See me pull up to the rig with a team we were looking so with Saw your girl on WhatsApp telling me that my game is so with um, before I start, a friend asked me a question, Rebecca Winter, when are you gonna preview my track in your YouTube video? All right, this is Rebecca Winter, Dance With Me, single, new, brand new, out, yes. Before I go into it, guys, I lost my tooth, broke my tooth real quick, immature, right? So I'm gonna have to do my mouth like, like this. Um, yes, Dance With Me, single, let's go. Are you, are you gonna start or? Are you, are you gonna, are you gonna start? I'm gonna play on here, on my phone, yeah. I'm gonna go over to the questions now because this is awkward. Like, if you choose your career besides sports and media videography, what would it be? Um, I'd love to do sports. Sports is very, very hard though. Um, I wouldn't choose one or the other because they can both work hand in hand. So I think I'd choose both of them hand in hand. So I didn't answer your question really and truly. I'm hearing that in the UK, Africans and Caribbeans don't get along as if we're not all black people. Why is that? Um, I think it's more banter than anything. Pardon me, it's more banter, banter meaning it's just more jokes, um, but some people do take it seriously, um, that's just stupid, I don't really see why there's an issue between Caribbeans and Africans, yeah, we are all black, um, but there is a lot of TL beef, um, plantain, plantain, because you lot say it wrong. What is your favourite Nigerian music? Uh, favourite Nigerian music? Uh, Sorry, mom. Would you ever date your best friend? Yes. What is the rudest thing anyone has ever said to you? I love you and your videos. Thank you so much, love. Um, love you too. Um, rudest things, rudest, what's the rudest thing anyone's ever said to you? Um, in year seven till like around year nine, I used to get chased home and get called the N word and um, used to get X thrown at me. So that was kind of rude, yeah. Shout out to Coventry. What happened between, <sighs> What's the worst food you've ever had? Probably McDonald's. Next. What other language would you like to be fluent in? Um, I'd love to be fluent in Yoruba. Um, I think Yoruba is a beautiful language, whether it be singing in praise or just speaking. She said, I'm Ghanaian and I speak Italian. Wavy, wavy. I don't know how you went all the way over there, your family. Hey, it's good. Now, um, I'd love to speak Yoruba. Um, yeah, Yoruba would be a great language to speak properly. Um, what is your favorite Nigerian food? Probably panda yam. I can eat that three times, four times a day, but I'll pass out. It's happened before. What's the thing you're most proud of to date? Um, I am proud of a lot of things. Um, I don't really take time to sit and reflect because I, I, I get quite busy. So, what am I proud of to date? Um, I can't actually tell you my most proudest achievement because I'm actually signed to a confidentiality agreement. So, I wish I could tell you that. So, let's settle for the second best. Um, as a child, I was, a, I won an award for a piece of music I made and I got to go to the Queen's Jubilee, met some important people. We don't need to name names, but yeah, it was great. It was a great experience. How do you manage your time and money with the union, all these distractions like this? 
see no evil, hear no evil. Do you get me? No, nah, money and time. Um, money management is uh, an important thing. I'm probably not the best at it because I have a lot of expenses. However, at the same time, I still manage to function at an optimal level with a lot of spending. So I guess I am, in a sense, good at it. Um, how do I manage this? Um, I plan out, just plan, plan, um, and, and set limits for yourself. And um, it's okay if you break those limits sometimes, but you have to set limits to learn how to keep within those limits distractions yeah just, it's easy to get distracted so the easiest way to not get distracted if you're an easily distractible person is just not put yourself in a position where you get distracted very easily simple who's mr 200m with this big nose thanks midday so this is by clifford i just spat my camera hold on What is one thing that challenges you and what is your definition of success? This was asked by Clifford A. I don't know how to say his name, the last name, but he's an American YouTuber, he's a male YouTuber as well. I would consider him to be a cool guy. Check his page out right there. What's your definition of success? Success, 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 success. Success is when I'm at a position where I'm happy with what I've done. Not to say stop what I'm doing, but, but, but happy with what I'm done. Um, for me, it's, it's to be able to provide for my family when I do have a family. First of all, find a wife, um, get married, then uh, provide for my family. I believe that's my, that's my concept of success. Um, being secure in God, being secure in myself, um, being secure in everything I do. That is success for me. And then one, what, what's one thing that challenges you? Um, um, uh, motivation and, and procrastination is something that challenges me. Um, I have to always stay on top of it because I work at such an optimal level that when I relax, sometimes it's like it feels good to relax. So you just you just want to relax. Um, so that's kind of very hard um, to always keep working so hard all the time. But nonetheless, we do it, right? Yeah. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? I, I, I didn't, I don't normally set them, I, I don't, but I have a lot to achieve this year that I want to achieve. I've even picked up even more responsibility than I ever done before. So I set out a list of spiritual goals, physical goals, financial goals, fitness goals, everything. And I wrote them down on paper and I look at them every day. And I update, update them and write them out with a rewrite them, just learn them because it's what I'm going to do this year, hands down. So yes a lot of them um for example make lots of short films shoot a short film at the end of the year produce a short film at the end of the year um run more shoots work with concepts work with more models this year fitness goals um go back into athletics properly compete again hopefully by god's grace if a miracle happens make 2020 olympics etc etc et big stuff um stuff that are not unattainable but out of reach so that you have to reach for them with intent yeah would you do a meet and greet in toronto um hopefully i'm gonna be there very soon if God makes a way, but I'd love to. Whenever I'm in these places, I'm definitely gonna try to arrange something. I think it's important to obviously connect with you guys because you guys always support me. So I love to see faces and put faces to names. That'd be great. What advice would you give to a couple having been together for a little while, bit now where one is already in uni and the other one's going to a separate uni soon? Um, so basically you've been together for a while, but you're going to two separate universities. Distance shouldn't affect anything. Communication should be optimal so that you can communicate. And if your relationship is just based just on physical, you're gonna find out that that's not going to work so um learn to be not just fiscal in the relationship communicate what camera is this so what camera am i using to shoot i'm using a 70d yes canon 70d eos yep, yep 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 um how did you find your passion and how do you know what you want to do in life i don't think i've um mm, how did you find your passion um i believe you find your passion based on survival you need to survive so you find something that works for you and brings results that's how i found my passion that's what, that's what I'm going to answer. And how did you know what you wanted to do in life? I don't really still know what I want to do in life. I'm just pretending like I know what I'm doing. Yes, um, try new things, try different things out. And yeah, it will come your way when it comes your way. Important to just do. Do and do and do and do. Until one gets done. Have you ever thought to go into modeling like proper? Um, I have actually done some modeling, but I can't talk about it, confidential agreements. But yes, I've done some modeling and regardless, would I want to go into it properly, properly? Um, no. Modeling with, as guys, you're required to do a lot of stuff. Modeling in general is quite provocative. Um, it doesn't align with certain things I believe in. Um, and I just wouldn't see myself doing it. I'd love to do runway modeling though, but I have done so in the past. But yeah. Um, would I go into it properly? Maybe. Yes, no. Maybe. Lukewarmish. How do you balance creating content, YouTube videos in university? I'm um, very poorly actually, I'm very, doing, doing very, very, very bad guys. I've been doing very bad. Um, it's, it's a very difficult process, but I, I, you just have to keep trying to, to perfect your art every day, all the time. Uh, yeah, a lot of time management, really and truly. Yeah, a lot of time management, pretty much it.
Yes. Worst date you've ever been on? Worst date I've ever been on is with a Congolese girl. That's what I'm gonna say. Don't make any presumptions. It's not to you. You're probably gonna try to say no. It doesn't have anything to do with that person. This was back, back a couple years back, maybe four years ago. She knows who she is. Let me not throw too much shade, but yeah, it wasn't like it was a bad date. But it wasn't even meant to be a date. But she was Congolese. What's your favorite thing about doing YouTube? My favorite thing about doing YouTube, um, being able to create what you want people to see, whether it be rushed or whether it be timed, patterns, being able to create something out of scratch with people you've never met in your life, connecting, networking, I think it's an amazing thing. Final question, and we're gonna end it here because I've recorded this twice and it really hurts my soul that I'm answering the same things. Not not really, but I had so many questions, so I guess it's, it works. I've lost half the questions and I had some interesting questions, but I'm sorry, okay? So, so. what is the main lesson you learned in 2017? Uh, 2017, uh, main lesson I learned, um, don't compromise yourself because you believe people are not giving you back what you give out. Um, change your environment and give as you would naturally do. I tried to compromise myself and not be the giver that I am because I tried to give to people who don't give back not to say i require when i give but it's nice to receive when you give in many different aspects so i tried to compromise myself and 2017 also taught me to um be mindful how you speak and it really taught me about the fact that when you go when you go bigger when you get bigger when you get known a bit more when you, you seem to gain some recognition you lose your your freedom of speech um happened to patricia bright happened to many people happened to me um so you, you learn how to to to, to, to be a man of the public who can handle public responses, handle people in, in, in a better way. And I think that's an important lesson for the for the path that I'm paving for myself, of course, paving for me. So yeah, um, that's my questions done. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so tired. I'm I'm, I'm yeah. Um, I'm thinking of starting daily vlogs again. Hmm, maybe should I start it? Yes, I want to start it. I do miss it. I do miss creating like constantly every day. But like literally, uni has been stressing me out. Um, and there's lots of things that are just really unstable if I'm really honest with you um, but yes I might start daily vlogs again let me know if you want me to, to, to start that it would be nice to start but yeah let me know if I should start that but yeah I'm going now so um, enjoy your evenings gotta go edit this video the less fun side of editing is when you don't have time to edit yeah, guys, bye. My brother, I'm with See me pull up to the rig with a team. We will look so with